Are you Socrates? Woman, what are you doing here? I'm not dressed. Oh, sorry. I guess I caught you at a bad time. I seem to have misplaced my tunic. I can't go into the street like this. So where could your tunic be? Oh, it could be anywhere. My students were here yesterday. We discussed the essence of being. Oh, the discussion was so heated and animated that I, I can't find anything today. Well, wrap yourself with the curtain for now. Here's your tunic. Thanks. 
I'll go get dressed. Thank you for finding my tunic. You're Socrates, the famous philosopher, right? That's right. And you must be my new masseuse, right? Well, not exactly, but I know how to give massages. My name is Vera, and I have a few questions for you. But what about my massage? I'll give you a massage after you answer my questions. Okay, I'm listening. Do you know anything about a dinosaur egg or a person named Tom? Ah, uh, yes. Tom the Traveling Philosopher. He was here. He left me a huge egg and asked me to take care of whatever hatches from it. Why? He said that it is a way to change the course of history. I can't say I really understood what he was talking about. In general, Tom was a very strange guy. So where is this egg? Do you still have it? You know, a lot of people go in and out of my house. Uh, students, philosophers. Could it have rolled somewhere? Or, or maybe someone boiled it and ate it. Socrates, it's really important that we find this egg. It's already after twelve. This is when I normally have my massage. Okay. Lie on your stomach and I'll give you a massage. On my stomach? Yes, on your stomach. <laughs> Just relax. There's nothing to worry about. Take a deep breath. Just relax. Take a deep breath. Just relax. Nothing to worry about.
Take a deep breath. Just relax. I think he fell asleep. Now I can look for the dinosaur egg. I guess I should take the painting with me. It's clearly not from this time. Look at this. There's some sort of inscription on the back of this. Only all the letters are scrambled. Let's see if I can decode it.
Happy birthday. Love your pussycat. Good grief. It looks like Professor Einbach had the painting and it came here from our time. Let's try to get back to 2008. Connecting to Laboratory 2008.